with one of the closest, one of the tensest, one of the most enjoyable Super Bowls ever. Kansas City Amen. came from behind in overtime to beat San Francisco 25-22. Patrick Mahomes led the Chiefs on a 75-yard touchdown drive to win it. Wilbon, what did you make of how the Chiefs won? Tony, I'm going to start with Chris Jones. I'm not going to start with Patrick Mahomes. We can always start with Patrick Mahomes for the last three years and maybe the next ten. But I'm going to start with Chris Jones because there are a couple of plays that at a time in which defense has essentially been legislated out of pro football the way I like it and the way I've known it, Chris Jones disrupted Mr. Purdy and just prevented him from waiting on receivers to clear, prevented him from being able to be in a position to step into a throw, which he'd done otherwise. Chris Jones, I mean, those defenses, and then defenses, that's my impression, Tony. People can talk, and we'll get yeah. to this, about what, you know, the, 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 the 49ers coaching staff and Shanahan didn't do and what the – defense. The, the Kansas City Chiefs needed a muffed punt to score a touchdown in regulation, which all the great smart pundits seem to miss as I was listening today. They couldn't score without a muffed punt, could not score a touchdown. That's right. Went 16 or 17 possessions going back uh, last week without scoring a touchdown. The great Kansas City offense. So the San Francisco defense deserves credit. Mr. Coach Wilkes and his unit and Chris Jones, the disruptive Chris Jones. They're going to have a touchdown, Tony, in overtime on third down and change the complexion of that game the 49ers are if Chris Jones doesn't disrupt Purdy. Chris yeah. Jones, that's my impression. So I, I find myself probably agreeing with you overall. The way the Chiefs won against San Francisco was the same way they won at Buffalo and at Baltimore. They played really great defense. They didn't score a lot. They scored what they needed to score because when they needed to score, they hand the ball to the greatest player on the planet. And that is the formula. That's how it works. I was struck by a couple of things during the game, Mike. One was defense on both sides. So I think that Steve Wilkes and Steve Spagnuolo earned their money. And two yes. was a lack of many, if, if even any, pass interference calls. And I'm not talking about holding at the line now. I'm talking right. about where the pass is going to be caught. The officials let both teams play. And I enjoyed that. And I, and I, I felt at halftime, Mike, because I was rooting for San Francisco, though I thought Kansas City would win. I felt at halftime San Francisco had not scored enough points. I felt right. they had to be up like 17-3 and that it would come back to bite them, which it did. Clearly, the most critical play of the game is the blocked PAT because it changed the, changes well, the number the from punt. four to three. Oh, well, but it punt. changes the number from four to three, which means you can tie the game with a field goal instead of having to get a touchdown in order to win the game. And that came back to bite them as well. But my, my other feeling was, Mike, and you mentioned the muff punt, I believe that San Francisco's mistakes were more impactful than Kansas yes. City's mistakes. Yes. Right? Didn't you feel that yeah. way? Tony, two special teams plays lost the yes. Super Bowl for the 49ers. And the muff punt, yes. I mean, it's the muff punt, seven points. Because the Chiefs couldn't score. Yep. They couldn't score a touchdown before that without the aid of that miscue. So, man, but it was it, – Tony, it's one of the great Super Bowls ever. Can we agree on that? Let's Maybe start. the greatest? It's in a discussion, yeah, well, right? I don't think it's the greatest. I, I can list three or four others that I thought were greater. But it was a great game. It started wow. out not as a great game and ended up fabulous. Ended up great, Did. great, 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 great. It had the great halftime. Yep. I'm taking Usher. I'm putting him up there with Prince and Bruno Mars and Beyonce. Everybody was great. Everything was great from soup to nuts to me. Let's move to the bigger picture. Really? Better than up the with Chiefs. people in the 70s, Mike? Better than that, honestly? Up with I, people? You don't Usher. remember? Oh, I, I don't. <laughs> thank God I don't remember. I'm going to hate you oh, for that reminding was terrible. me. That was terrible. Big yeah. picture. Oh, my God. You scared me with that reference. The Chiefs have now played in four <laughs> of the past five Super Bowls and won three of them. Historically, Tone, what does and will this do for Mahomes, Reed, and the Chiefs franchise? So I'm not going to sit here and say anything brilliant that you haven't heard before. It officially makes Kansas City a dynasty because the amount of wins in the amount of years. In the Super Bowl era, we've got the Steelers, we've got the 49ers, we've got the Cowboys, we've got the Patriots, and now we've got the Chiefs, and that's it. That's the list. What it does for Mahomes is it confirms what we thought, that he is a great, great, great talent on the football field. 15-3, and three, I believe, is his record 
in playoff games. He's now got these Super Bowls. I, I mean, I, I just, my sense of Mahomes, and it goes back, Mike, it, it goes back to when he was a rookie, going into his second year, when Andy Reid understood, I got a real good quarterback in Alex Smith, and I'm going to let him go because I want to hand the ball to this kid. And that is not much different than Bill Belichick saying of Drew Bledsoe, I got to let him go because I'm going to hand the ball to this kid because part of great coaching is recognizing great talent as it's about to emerge. Now is, is Mahomes Brady? No, Brady has seven. No, stop. But Mahomes is 28 years old. If he gets another before he's 30, then you can say he can chase Brady. But he's not Brady now. No. No. By the way, let me go back a little bit. Let me backpedal a little bit. You're going to get yourself in trouble locally. Because the Washington franchise, How? then known as the Redskins, won three Super right. Bowls in they won three five years. Different quarterbacks. Come on now. Huh? No, okay, no, it was but, 10. But, no, it was like, it was nine or 10. No, no Mike, it was nine it was or 10 82. that they won. 83, and they lost that one, 87-91. Okay, you're right, you're right. More like 91-92. That's, that's a lot of Super Bowls. That's great. a lot of Super Bowls. Yeah. So anyway, and you live there, they're going to run you out of town. Now, Tony, people I dine out them. on one Super Bowl victory. One. They make careers in broadcasting and commercial making. You can dine out on one for forever. Oh, my God, three. What three will do, three yep. and perhaps counting. I mean, I, you know, let's That's face right. it. I mean, we talk about Mahomes being 28. Andy Reid might not be there for 10 more years, but he might be there for a couple of more Super Bowls. He could be. So, wow. Mike, I mean, it, it Mike, sets hold them on. up. Mike, Andy Reid, Andy Reid's got to stand next to Patrick Mahomes for six to eight more years because he can maybe catch Belichick if Mahomes does that. Ooh. You just call Jake Ooh. from State Farm and say, I'm going to be here for a while. Get these commercials rolling. It, and I'll take Kyle Shanahan over every other coach in the league, all of them, except maybe Andy Reid. All of them, right now. Kyle Shanahan, come on in. What do we have to pay you, and who do we have to get rid of? Now, people are – I told you this morning on your podcast, I didn't even want to turn television on because I know the overreaction to everything, the overstatement of everything was going to just make me angry. And this whole overtime flap is making me angry because Kyle Shanahan – and explained what he was talking about. If you go these two possessions, the third possession, if each team scores evenly in the first two possessions, the third possession is your winner. And that logic is fine to me. It's a bad PR move. That's what happens. It's bad PR because then the 49ers players are on the record of saying, we didn't study this stuff all week. That didn't cost them the game. Chris Jones cost him the game because Purdy couldn't step into a throw to make it a touchdown. And even then, Kansas City, which couldn't score, had to score a touchdown to win the game. And they did. That's right. The 49ers are great, Tony. They played evenly with a three-time Super Bowl winner in overtime. I don't want to hear any bashing of Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers. I don't want to yeah. hear it. What, what bothers me particularly about this show is that I am supposed to come back now and probably debate you, and I'm not going to do it. A lot of people are throwing stuff at Kyle Shanahan, and I'm not, like you, going to be one of those people. Kyle Shanahan, he didn't kick the extra point that got blocked. He didn't That's rough right. the punt. That's he didn't right. do that. He's been to a few Super Bowls. Here's who he's lost to when he's been in a position at a Super Bowl as a coordinator or a head coach. He's lost to Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes. In tennis, those would be called good losses. I'm pretty sure those <laughs> yeah. guys are the only guys in the last 25 years to go back-to-back -back with Super Bowls. And I agree with you as well. I would have taken the ball in the overtime. I, I Look, I look at the 49ers. To me, they are definitively the best team in the NFC. They got a real good young core. I think Brock Purdy showed you you can win with Brock Purdy. I mean, he should get I, better. I, I won't get blame better. Shannon. Do people, do people say that Marv Levy's a bad coach because he lost four Super Bowls? No, they don't. Stop. No, Stop. I'll take Kyle Shanahan, Stop. and so will you. Let's take a break. God. UCLA is hiring Deshaun Foster as its new head football coach. Is that a good choice? Tony, I think so. UCLA Hall of Famer is a player, running backs coach, played seven seasons in the NFL. He's a UCLA guy. Good for them. New Alabama OC Ryan Grubb left to take the same job with the Seahawks. Okay by you? It's a little odd to me if you think of yourself as a college coach. You know, look what Sarkeesian did. Look what Kiffin did in that job. But if you go to the NFL, maybe you have different aspirations. Maybe it's just different. Kyle Lowry, 
reportedly joining the Sixers, Spencer Dinwiddie joining the Lakers, which is the bigger deal? Kyle's a Philly kid. He's always dripped to playing for the Sixers at some point. Good for him. I wonder what it means for campaign, though. In his days in Philly, he just got there in a trade. I don't know. A lot of point guards. Hornets president Mitch Kupchak is moving into an advisory role. What does that mean? Probably means he's on his way out because Michael Jordan doesn't own the team anymore. You know, I've known Mitch Kupchak for 50 years. I covered him when I was at Newsday, when he was in high school. Last one. Will the Cavs win their 10th straight tonight? Woo! They should. At home, against those Sixers. I don't know if Kyle Lowry will be suited up, but they should win tonight, Tony. Played golf with Cupjack once. Had a really good time. We're out of time. Try and do better the next time. I'm Tony Kornheiser. And I'm Mike Wilbon. Same time tomorrow, knuckleheads. You can get the PTI podcast on the ESPN app or Apple Podcasts. And now, your sports. Slated Bel Air, Wilbon. Bel Air. PTI.